So I'm going to shoot a quick video here to show you how to do um, how to enter a team race in uh, in ATR.tools. Just added this, um, hoping my friends uh, running for LWT racer this weekend at VIR will put it to a test. But uh, so I just logged in and I'm going to create a new race uh, and I'm going to import it. We have a couple ways to import, actually just two. Um, and this plain old text approach is the one I'm going to try. Um, so just to show you how it can be done. Um, this is a CCS race. Um, and so thankfully, Moto Lap Times has the results. Uh, I'm going to do a summit point race uh, that I got to run uh, with the guys couple weeks ago gonna jump to the team race or the team challenge <clears throat> and let's see our team number was 76 there's a lot of those here so we'll search LWT there's 61 171 76 so this was our team and uh, the easiest way to get this data out at least right now with the import tools we have is just to select the whole race boom okay and then if you have a spreadsheet to dump it in uh, that's the easiest so I'm going to jump on over to Google Drive uh, and I'm going to create a new sheet. All right, now I'm going to paste. All right, and now really all I'm interested in is the lap times, uh, which looks like it's column D. So I'm just going to select column D. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to jump back to after the race or ATR.tools. And in this plain old text import, lap text, right? One lap per line. I paste it, there's a bunch of blank lines, but you don't have to worry about that because here's the lines uh, with the times in them and the app will ignore the blank lines. So I'll click import <laughs> and boom, there's all these laps. Um, so it just took the times, there's no other information entered. So I'm going to hop on over to this edit link. I am going to, for lack of a better idea, I'm going to just copy the name of the race. Eh, we'll just call it Azure TC Summit. Uh, organization actually is Azure, right? Date. These are fun to enter. Uh, 8 20 who? 8 23. Uh, I can even steal the time, can I? It was... Ah, who cares? Uh, so we ran this not on the Ninjet, but I don't have another bike entered, so I'll leave it there, and I will pick Summit Main. And this is a team race, so I'm going to check that big ugly box. And I'm going to leave the number of laps alone. And click Next. So here's where it gets interesting. Um, so I'm going to specify when we had rider changes. The first rider was Doug. So I'm going to enter his name here. If he was a user, I could pick him here, but I don't think Doug's using this. So Doug ran until, and I'm going to be real scientific about this, and I'm just going to scroll until I see a pretty long lap time, which is this one. And that is when John jumped on. Now again, running through these awesome lap times 28 29 30 20 whoa 255 that's when we gassed up and that's when chai hopped on keep rolling through here uh 156 that was just a, a rider change and i believe that's when i jumped on and actually i'm a user so i'll just pick me uh okay so i ran until 240, that sounds like a long lap. That must be when Tom hopped on. Scrolling through, scrolling through. Done. Save. And check it. 
we've got, yeah, ignore those hovers, but we've got um, Doug's runs, John's, Chai's, mine, and Tom's. And, you know, it's a little out of scale because the pit laps are actually included on the graph, which is a bummer, and hopefully we'll work those out. But also down here at the bottom, we've got your summary. So here's the team's results. Here's all the laps for the team. Here's Doug's laps and a summary, the number of laps he ran, the best lap he had, the average, the worst. Man, Doug's fast. John, Chai, all tearing it up. And me and Tom. Um, so use it. If there's, a, if there's any problems, uh, just contact links and stuff. Drop me a line. All right, cool. See you at the grid.